Order of Operations. Before you can play any game, what do you need to know? Well, you need to know the rules of the game. It's the same in math. We need to know the rules before we solve this problem. Otherwise, you won't know whether to do 8 minus 2 first, or whether you do the 2 plus 3 first. So let's look at our rules. Do, step 1, do the, all the operations within parentheses. So that's the first thing you do. Find, step 2, find the values of numbers with exponents. Step 3, multiply and divide in order from left to right. Multiply and divide after you do parentheses and exponents. And the last thing you'll do is add and subtract in order from left to right. So let's look again at our problem. We don't have parentheses or exponents, but we do have multiplication and division. So that has to come first. We have multiplication. So we do the 2 times 3. Bring down here anything you haven't used. Now all we have left is subtraction, and we have 2, and your answer should be 2. We use Aunt Sally to help us remember the correct order. If you'll say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, you'll see that those are the same letters. Parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide left to right, add and subtract left to right. If you'll write it on your paper like this, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Some people call this PEMDAS. If you'll write it up and down, you'll, be, you'll have more success. Use pizza form to solve the expressions. That means you just keep working down. Solve one operation per line, bringing down unused terms. So no parentheses or exponents, but we do have division here, so that will be the first thing we work, giving us a five. Bring down everything you haven't used. Now, all we have left is addition and subtraction, and those need to be worked in order from left to right. So we'll work the one on the left first, that's where people first mess up. Make sure when you know they're equal things that you do the one on the left. And you get 13. Let's try a few harder ones. The first thing you need to do is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And if you'll say it like that, you'll remember parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide left to right, add and subtract left to right. So on this one, we do parentheses first. Bring down anything you haven't used. Parentheses, exponents, no. Multiply and divide, yes, we have multiplication. Bring that down next. And then the last thing you will do is your subtraction. And you get eight. And over here, let's do parentheses first. Now, you've got two operations here. You've got your exponents and addition. So within here, exponents would win. So 4 times 4 is 16 plus 3. Now keep your parentheses and rewrite everything you haven't used. Minus 7 times 2. Now, we still go back down your list. We still have parentheses. 19. Now we're finished with our parentheses. You can keep them or you can get rid of them once, they, once you, you're down to one number. Now again, we go down our list. The next thing we'd need to do is multiplication. Bring down what you haven't used, the 19 and the minus, and your answer here is 5. Let me show you a couple of division ones. These are divisions. Remember, this is a fraction bar, but it's also a division bar. With these, it looks a little different. You want to work the entire numerator and the entire denominator. So 13 plus 3 is 16. The two will stay on the bottom. Wait until you have just two numbers left. Now work it out. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Let's work another one. 5 times 12 is 60. Work the bottom. 2 times 5 is 10. Now you're ready to work it. 60 divided by 10 is 6.